Hey guys, I'm gonna be changing out four glow plugs on my 2009 Jetta TDI. Um, I was getting some cylinder pressure errors, and I was gonna replace just the one, but I found a really good deal on eBay for four of them for like 25 bucks a piece. So I just bought four. Um, they're not Chinese or anything. They're the actual OEM, same stuff you buy at the dealership. So. I don't know if you can see the markings on them or whatever, but they're actual VW glow plugs. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the first step I take is I use some of these angled needle nose plier things and I put them right here at the top and just pull up and it came off just fine. I'll show you I'll do the second one here. Just put it right there. You see? Pull up and it came up just fine. Do the third one. Came up just fine. This thing sort of comes comes off a little bit. The the deal that holds all the wires in, so you can pull the glow plugs up and out. This last one's a little. A little tricky to get out. Man. This last one's kind of hard to get out because all this right here is stuck under this pipe. So I'm going to stop the phone and wrestle with it and pick up here in a minute. Alright, uh, this is basically what it looks like on the inside with the plug, glow plug connector taken off. And from what I've read... You don't want to just take them off because there's probably a bunch of dirt down there. So I'm going to take a air compressor right here with a uh, air end on it and blow some dirt out. All right, here's my air blower. I'm just going to stick it in there. Like so, and blow them out. Oh my god. Freaking sand just came up and... It is definitely sandy and dusty down there, so you definitely want to get all that out. Because when you take them out, all that stuff's going to fall in your cylinder. Alright, I'll come back here in a little bit. I'm going to spend like at least five minutes blowing these out. Then I'm going to come back with a vacuum and suck out any of the rest of the stuff with a little bitty hose. I just really don't want anything falling down those cylinders. Alright, so 
I've blown them out with an air compressor for like five minutes, but I also want to get a vacuum in there. So I suck out whatever's left. I sort of contrapted this. I have a shop back over there. It has a big hose, of course, but I taped up a little bitty plastic hose to it. You know, like this. I'm just gonna stick it down in there, and that gets in those, that gets in those little holes and stuff around the glow plug. I'm gonna vacuum for about two or three minutes, and then I'll probably blow again. I just want to make sure there's absolutely nothing in stuck in those sides of those glow plugs before I take them out. Well, the vacuum method didn't really work out that great. Something about, I just couldn't get that little hose down in there very good. And it just didn't work as good as spraying compressed air in there. So I'm gonna spend another two or three minutes just spraying out the compressed air again to get whatever's left in there. You know, every time I stop and do it again, a little bit more comes out, so I'm gonna overkill it. I mean, literally 10 to 15 minutes of spraying air in that thing. I'll be back. All right, after about 10 or 15 minutes of blowing compressed air and all these, they're coming out clean. You know, no sand or dust or whatever. I'm gonna use this 12 millimeter deep socket to go down in there and take them out. So I'll take the first one out and show you what it looks like. All right, got my first one out here. It's kind of hard because once you unscrewed it with the socket, you know, it doesn't just fly out. So I had to improvise and use this little tool and go down there and get the bottom of it and pull it up once it was loose but that's the first one i'm going to do them one at a time not take out all four and then replace all four so to reduce stuff falling in um the little hole looks pretty good down there you can't really see it on here but it looks pretty clean but i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put that little hose with the air compressor on it and blow out any remainder and then put my replacement one in there the old one looks a little burnt on the end I don't know if that's normal but whatever all right I put the first one in and I, I took the socket off because I just wanted to hand tighten it to make sure that th the threads were you know hitting correctly and not cross threading just barely tightening it with my hand so I'm gonna do all four that way, and then I'll come back and torque it uh, when I'm done. All right, so I put all four new ones in there. I hand tightened it with 12 millimeter deep socket and the extension, just with my hand, to make sure the threads were seated properly. Now I'm gonna use the torque wrench set to 10 foot-pounds which is a hair over what the actual torque of those are but by like one newton meter not bad so I'm gonna torque all four and then put the covers back on all right so I torqued them all down I put the cap things back on kind of wiggled them make sure they were on good uh, Here's the original four. You know, they kind of got burnt looking tips, so I'm sure that's normal. Uh, so next thing I'll do is start it up and make sure she works. Seems to be working just fine. Thanks, bye. All right, before I was getting a cylinder pressure sensor error because they're built into the glow plug, so now I got VCDS open. I'm gonna see if it fixed it by going to fault codes and um, I cleared it. You know, I drove like 20 miles or something and it hasn't come back, so that fixed it perfectly.